The GWS Giants have been in the headlines uh, for most of the last two weeks. Ralphie, Jason McCartney has just said that the Luke Bruce deal was essentially done, uh, except that Luke Bruce vetoed it at the very end. So they felt as if they had Bruce coming in. I'm sure, Ralphie, that if Bruce came in, they would have been uh, more content to allow Hill to go to Essendon. Oh, that's funny, actually. He just said that um, they still would have kept Bobby Hill, even if they got Luke Bruce really? in. So, yeah, I'm not sure Essendon or um, Colin Young would so, have been too. So they were confident in getting him they, until they spoke to him. They almost, <laughs> had, they almost <laughs> had him until they asked him. He yeah. <laughs> Close. I don't want to live in Sydney. Uh, so <laughs> what, what about the Giants, King? Toby Green, Josh Kelly, Lockie Whitfield, 27, 28 years of age. H Hopper and, and Tar uh, Taranto are, are, are ball-winning guns at 23, 24 years of age. The next wave is upon us. Oh, I think they're right you know, in the next couple of flags up to their ears, these guys. The young back line that was thrown to the Wolves last year uh, through circumstance. Sam Taylor stood up, was was a phenomenal back, uh, back line key post player. Buckley, Buckley, Connor Ryden, Isaac Cumming, these guys, I think they showed that they can play frontline AFL football. The last four years, they've drafted easily the most amount of players in 20, and 12 of those have been top 30 selections. You think they can win it next year? I think they can win it next year. Really? I think they certainly bit, can they as well. They had a horror run this year. They were out of out at home for half the year on the road, hardly played home games, injuries everywhere. Everything fell apart with Stephen Canelio. Treat him like a first-round selection next year and just ease him back in. I think that they are ready to go, ready to roll for the flag Are you concerned, year. though, talk about taking the risk that obviously they think they needed another tall forward in Roy Lobb, couldn't get him, and they felt they needed another small forward, either Wingard or Bruce, couldn't get him. Does that mean you feel that they're probably a bit short in the front half? No, I think you, you still got to do things. I mean, we're talking about yeah. you know acting and trying to make your club better. You know, I, I think Brent Daniels is going to be a superstar. I think he's going to be a star midfielder if he can just get his injury-prone body right. I think Jesse Hogan has found the love. I mean, found the love for footy again, and things are working for him. He played nine games mm. this year, so if they can get him on the park more regularly, he's a 40-plus goal kicker. So I think they've got a lot of the correct components at the moment. And we kept the, keep on saying we're going to see the new calm Toby Green. How well like is he going? to be by round six yeah. when he feels the AFL's against him as well as the well, rest of the point He'll, he'll come there. into the side round six, he'll be that amped up, he'll probably get suspended. <laughs> <laughs> and yes or no, should Toby Green be captain next year? Uh, yes I or no? I think he should be a co-captain. Yes or no? Uh, co-captain. Co-captain's weak. Have one captain, have one centre of influence and he's the only man up there that can do the I job. I agree with you, King. It's a 2-2 draw.